Hi guys, I was speaking to one of my friends earlier and he said, why have you not done a vlog for ages? I said, oh, to be honest, I've been busy. I've been, I've had loads of stuff on. Loads has been happening. I've done this, I've done that. I've just been too busy. And he said, what sort of vlog are you in that stuff you're meant to be actually filming? So in order to be a better YouTuber, I'm going to show you around mine and my girlfriend's house and what we've been doing to make it beautiful. I'm probably going to talk some absolute crap in between as well. And you see the living room. Just give you a closer look. Um, it's all been repainted. It was a horrible yellow colour. Um, the floors were full of dog piss. We had to take them up and we had to basically do all the skirting boards again, repaint everything, fill loads of bullet holes in because I think they've been firing the walls with a machine gun or something like that because it was literally like a bomb had been set off. You'll notice there, we kind of, we're having a few rest days so we've not painted up the stairs so we've just made this room look amazing, the kitchen and the bedrooms, the rest of it is work in progress. Um, this beautiful clock from Bay Tree Interiors, I never thought I'd buy anything from there. I always used to go in and go, oh my God, everything's like, but when you get your own house you appreciate stuff like that more lovely bay windows with me bad man Vauxhall Corsa outside just waiting there pot vinyls because I'm a massive nerd the Majora's mask nice TV set up and this big beautiful mirror from the range excuse the shorts I didn't really intend for me lower half to be on but there we have it you lucky souls um, this couch, beautiful little coffee table with Scrabble. Me and my girlfriend can't play Scrabble because we always have a dispute over whether it's a real word. Plus if I get like a 60 word she gets proper egg. Starts a fight. Here's a cat on his little fancy perch. Those of you who are keen watchers of my channel know that I've got a white cat called Jack. Um, that's Molly, that's my auntie's cat, um, well it was my auntie's cat, but she lives in a flat now so I've taken over it um, to give it the best life possible. Oh my god look at that squirrel. I won't tell Molly about that because she'll probably go out and rip its head off, she's an absolute beast, it's horrible, she kills everything, I'm debating keeping her inside. So dining room, staghead. Nice wallpaper, coming together nicely. Painted this, um, it's called Tijuana. Uh, the floorboards need to go in this room and we've ordered a table from Vera, which is basically benches, uh, which is gonna look amazing. It follow, it, there's a nice, nice little arch coming through. Um, kitchen, originally was a horrible like duck egg blue color, if duck egg blue's a thing. I'm not an interior designer, so half of what I say is probably Shit. Uh, the cupboard doors were actually quite nice. It needed a lot of cleaning inside. But other than that, um, we just added in the washing machine, the fridge, freezer, and all the other stuff you see. This is a neat little trick. Looks nice and fancy. That's basically hiding a lot of pipes because we don't want to end up matching the top um, to the extractor fan. A little funky curtain there for all of our ironing boards and such. So that's pretty much this room. Um, cat litter trays there. I've just started letting the cats out, so hopefully that should be gone soon once we get a cat flap. But at the moment, I'm letting the cats out in small intervals because I'm a crazy cat woman and I can't stand the thought of them going missing. So if I keep checking them every half an hour, running out there and shaking biscuits in the rain, neighbours probably think I'm right to it. Anyway, let's move upstairs. Just give you this little view first. This, by the way, is amazing. The other day I actually threw something onto Liv's head from this position. It was sneaky. So upstairs, we haven't really touched yet. Um, the walls in here are still a horrible colour. They'll all be white. There'll be a new carpet, skirting boards. Bathroom is very much the same. And um, this was already here. This is just our stuff on top of it. That shower. It's amazing though. It's like getting weed on by a sunflower. It's fantastic. That's probably the weirdest thing I've said. 
This will be the main bedroom um, once the floor's down. But for now, this room will stay shut because it's minging. This again, um, this room doesn't need decorating that much. It needs a few bullet holes filling and all that stuff. But other than that, it's all right. Uh, we're just using it for storage at the moment. That's going up somewhere because I love that. Not a lot of people like that. My girlfriend hates it. She doesn't know yet, but it's going up. Uh, this is where we're sleeping so far. I didn't make the bed because I'm a scruff. So that's Liv's dressing table with all of her makeup on. I won't go through that because she'll kill me. But that's basically where we're living. So still quite a bit of work to be done. Sorry if you came in for the cystic fibrosis and the diabetes updates. The truth is, since I came out of hospital, I've actually been pretty damn well. So, no news is good news. Um, so from this point onwards really, um, until I need to get back involved with the CF and diabetes thing, it's making sure the house is alright, making sure my cats are alright. Because like I said, I've got one cat Molly who kills birds all the time. If you've got any tips for that by the way, let me know. I've got her a collar with a bell on, but that's about all I know what to do. I've also got another cat who keeps losing his collars. I bought the 4 99 collar from the range. Dead nice, had a little bow on it, really pretty. Went out, lost that. Got a 97p collar from Unbargain. Went out, lost that. So, I don't know what to do with him. Jack's looking a bit worse for wear because Molly beat him up, didn't you? Anyway. So from now on, I'm probably going to do a bit more lifestyle vlogging and um, just about what's happening in day to day life. Obviously, cystic fibrosis and diabetes will be part of it. But since there's no news at the moment, I'm just going to crack on and film a bit more. Mm -hmm.